Welcome to High Performance Pitching, featuring Sarah Pauly, with instruction by Rick Pauly. Okay, we're going to take a little look at uh, the action of the release of a rise ball and then look at the uh, spin or the axis of the spin on a rise ball. Um, Sarah's probably pretty typical of anybody that throws a, a high-level rise ball here and that. Uh, I don't think anybody gets a perfect 12-6 uh, or 6-12, however you want to look at it, backspin uh, orientation. In other words, the uh, axis would be horizontal to the ground. But uh, she gets a pretty good access here, and I'm going to show it to you in a second. Uh, and it definitely is effective, and it definitely offsets um, gravity and creates a uh, illusion to the batter because this ball is going to drop a lot less than what the batter is uh, expecting. So I'm just going to roll this forward. What I want you to look at right here at the release area is the fact that it would be pretty difficult for anybody to throw a rise ball unless you could redesign the wrist joint because when the wrist gets right to about here and the arm, the elbow joint, it's got to rotate a little bit like you see right here. Otherwise, you're going to basically break your wrist off. So getting straight 12-6 uh, spins is pretty tough to do. Now let's watch this ball as it travels. I'm just going to go a little frame or two at a time. And you can look at the seams and understand where the camera is here. If this camera was directly in front of that ball, you'd probably have a little different perspective. But you can see that this has got a pretty good backspin orientation on it. Okay. You just kind of go a frame at a time, and you can see if you track the seams here. All right. And so there's your backspin that everybody's questioning on the rise ball. Is it effective? Uh, absolutely very effective in my opinion. So we're going to take a couple more looks at a rise ball um, and just uh, show you what it looks like uh, from the, a rear view, or excuse me, a front view and from a side view. Okay, so I've got what we would call a profile view of a rise ball here. And way on the right-hand side, Sarah's just uh, going to come into the picture here in a second. Uh, it's about all the space I could get inside the uh, the uh, softball field here and still get the uh, full pitch in here. So I'm going to let this run and you can watch um, what a uh, profile view of a rise ball looks like. Here it comes. Release and you can watch it. And obviously you can see that uh, the catcher, the, the glove kind of got taken up in the air and it's probably got a lot to do with the fact that the catcher thinks that the ball should be dropping a lot more than it should, so they've got to go up to catch it at the last second. So um, that's about as effective as a rise ball is, but uh, it's significantly uh, an illusion to the hitter who thinks it's going to be dropping, and it really doesn't drop very much. Okay, so we're taking a uh, catcher's uh, viewpoint of a rise ball here, and you'll notice there's three red lines in front of the catcher. Uh, the bottom uh, red line is actually the bottom of the strike zone. The middle one is the top of the strike zone. And then the, th the, the top red line is what we call a third level rise, and that's the one where you get the batter to chase it without having to throw it in the strike zone. Anytime you're heading to count, you want to throw a third level rise. So you have a first, second, and third level rise for all of those out there that are trying to learn uh, how to have an effective rise ball. So I'm just going to play this and you can kind of watch uh, this ball come and it's going to be a uh, second level rise. And uh, you can kind of notice the uh, point where Sarah releases the ball. Definitely has some upward angle has some uh, semblance of a backspin and right there second level and bang. So I know that uh, people can discuss uh, seam uh, and spin orientation all day long regarding a rise ball. The simple fact is is if you get um, the right combination of spin rate, spin axis, speed, release point and release angle, you can have an extremely effective pitch 
and uh, it can be effective at every age level up to and including uh, professional or national team level. So uh, don't uh, throw in the hat thinking that the rise ball is not a good pitch. And uh, I guess um, for those that believe, great. And those that don't believe, I'm not sure that this will convince you, but I hope it does. Thank you. We hope you've enjoyed this lesson from High Performance Pitching. Please join us again soon to learn more about improving your pitching skills.